Jack in the morning. The name's Raul, not Regis. Did I really need to be here for one player? I mean, I mean, what? Uh, thank you very much. Oh, all right, great. Hey, let's cut to the chase. Hey, Mavis, we're all ready down here. Question one is taped before a live studio audience. Well, what do we have here? Sounds like a winner. Get this one right, you get a grand. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Say the producer of Hogan's Heroes made a cameo in an episode and collided with one of the show's characters. Colonel Clink is one of the characters, and Hogan's Heroes was one of the many TV shows produced by crooner Bing Crosby. <laughs> and apparently the director's name was Zing. <laughs> Time to pick a category. This category is known as, next on FYI, table dances. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. You know, the thing about network censorship is that you just have to learn how to say innocent things and make them sound dirty, the way I do it. For example, suppose that on an episode of Murphy Brown, network executives tell Murphy that she will soon be stripped. In industry speak, what will Murphy be doing? But I thought I could have sworn that, no, please, no, ah! I could have given you some cash if you picked this one. In TV speak, if you have a show that runs five or more days a week, it's called stripping. And whoring is when you do way too many commercials for phone companies, especially when you're going to use a name like the Dime Lady. Give me a This is question three. Shake hands with, would you believe? I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. Think fast, it's question time. What is the undercover name of the Get Smart agent who would most likely pee on a fire hydrant? Agent K... K9? No, that's the German agent with the really negative attitude. For the curious, here's the right answer. Fang, the dog, is Agent K13. He's assigned to catching cat thieves. Throw me a category. I believe this one is called Super Zeros. You're looking at $3,000 on this one. Uh-oh, trouble in superhero world. What would Spider-Man, the Incredible Hulk, and Captain America most likely have to fear from a nemesis named Arbitron? He could make them all look fat. He could make them all sound alike. He could cause their shows. Just wait till your father gets home. Hey, if you got a minute, take a look at this. Arbitron is another television rating system, like uh, Nielsen, so a bad word from them could mean the cancellation of a show. And we all know that having crummy TV shows taken off the air is definitely not the American way. Coming at you of pop music and green slime. 1,000 bucks if you get it. Hey, do you remember that Nickelodeon show, You Can't Do That on Television? Do you remember when singer Alanis Morissette was a cast member? On You Can't Do That on Television, certain... That green slime on You Can't Do That on Television gets triggered by the words, I don't know. <laughs> so, Mavis, what's up with this Alanis Morissette anyway? I don't know. Oh, what is that? Oh, you said the word! All right, I need a category. All right, don't freak out of me or nothing, but you're about to jump head first into a dis or dad. The category for this dis or dad question is, give me the entendre and make it a double. All right, I'm going to list off. I see you got this thing down. I'm just going to put your 30 seconds on the clock, all right? And we're off. Enos, real show or fake show? Jag. Herman's head. The Ropers. The Chisholms. The Red Hand Gang. Last one. Kisses. That'll do. It. Hey, you got four right. Great job of guessing. Let's throw that on your total. So you wanted a little help, then uh, that's exactly. Time to pick a. Don't you get him out of Tonight. Savory. I love you, question seven. 
for your enjoyment. Give me some skin. How does $2,000 sound? All right, here's a little helpful hint for you. Ophthalmologists recommend you visit the eye doctor once a year. Say your eye doctor tells you that your eyesight has deteriorated from watching the Playboy channel without getting it de-scrambled. What would be the most appropriate response? Damn that tap scan. When you get a TV signal, it's all changed and everything, so it can't be received without a decoder. That's encryption. <laughs> and contrary to any other rumor you may have heard, that's the thing that makes you go blind. Give me a category. All right, give it up for Seinfeld and Impulse Shopping. I'm going to give away 3000 bucks this time. Okay, you just inherited some bucks, and they're burning a hole in your 501s. Let's say you go nuts and blow through your inheritance in a brand new store called Just Kramer. Based on Kramer's product inventions, which of the following items could you not buy? A mattress filled with sand, a coffee table book about coffee tables, muffin tops, or a bra for... Just Kramer would not sell you a muffin top. That's Elaine's idea. I'm sure the boys would be very interested in seeing Elaine's muffin bottom. Yeah, baby, I don't know what that means. This one's called, say it again, and I'll kill you. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. Hey, help me out here, will ya? I am trying to think of the name of this TV character. It's driving me nuts. It's uh, fill in the blank, so you're going to have to move your fingers a little bit, okay? What's this woman's name? She's a citizen of Fernwood. She's totally obsessed with waxy yellow buildup. She's got these dumb Raggedy Ann looking braids. She's always like rubbing her teeth dry with her, with her finger. What is her name? This could do it. It's Mary Hartman. Mary Hartman. Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, Mary Hart. Thank you. Category. Here we have, what about my kiss? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Okay, imagine this. While watching the end of the Waltons, you hear good night, Chet, and good night, David. What has probably happened? Good night, Chet. Good night, David was the regular closing to NBC's Huntley Brinkley Report, a news show in the 50s and 60s. <laughs> Later on the 11 o'clock news, the bedtime story. Is it killing your children? Find out tonight. That's the end of round one. Don't touch that dial because we're going right into round two. Now... All right, I need a cat. Let's see what we got going. From the wrong side of the laugh track. You get it right, you get 2K. All right, listen up. Let's say that on an episode of MASH, that eternal joker Hawkeye gets one of those annoying little toys that laughs all the time. Because of the special policy about laugh tracks on MASH, if you listen carefully, you'll notice there's no laugh track in the operating room scenes in MASH. Which just goes to prove the old saying, laugh and the world laughs with you. Laugh in the OR and you're a prick. Throw For your viewing pleasure, I need a doctor and I ain't lying. We're talking 6K here, so pay attention. In the 1960s adventure show Doctari, Dr. Tracy was in charge of the Wamero Study Center for Animal Behavior. But then you knew that. What could Dr. Tracy have prescribed for his co-star, Clarence the Lion, that would have corrected his famous abnormality? A prosthetic... Clarence was known as the Cross-Eyed Lion. <laughs> Eventually, he did wear glasses, but they had a big piece of tape in the middle, and everyone called him Clarence the Big Stupid Dork Lion, until he ate them. Time to pick a category.
The category is the monkeys and their bimbo fans. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Hey, get this. Did you know that before Mickey Dolenz was a monkey, he starred in a TV show called Circus Boy? If the monkeys renamed their group after Mickey Dolenz's circus boy companion, Bimbo, what might they call themselves? The elephants, the clowns, the white whores, or the high wires? In Circus Boy, Mickey Dolenz co-starred with an elephant named Bimbo. It's not a big leap going from an elephant named Bimbo to starring with a group of Dumbos. I mean, Peter Tork? All right, pick a cat. All right, flesh butt spits I'm poor. It's time for our gibberish lesson. Grab hold of this gibberish category. How I like to have sex. Let's see how much of $10,000 you can win on this gibberish question. Now, as soon as you know the answer, you buzz in and start typing, because I'm going to take away some of that cash every second and a half. All right, listen to this, and tell me, what theme song does this phrase rhyme with? Spank. Ooh. More. G-string up end. And don't let the punctuation throw you off. First clue, you might call it a golden oldie. It's all yours. Type in the answer. I think I speak for everyone when I say thank you, Cable, for showing endless reruns of the Golden Girls. Give me a... <laughs> and our special guest tonight, fictional viewer mail from non-fictional viewers. If you know this one, you're getting 4,000 bucks. Okay, imagine this letter ending up in David Letterman's viewer mail segment. July 31, 1997. Dear Dave, I finally saw The Late Shift. It does not do you justice. I would like to do a true documentary about the late night wars. If PBS can commit 30 hours to the Civil War in baseball, there's no telling how much time they would give me for you. Which of these documentarians most the guy who does all those documentaries where they read actual letters from the period is Ken Burns. Yeah, the Civil War is like one of PBS's top-rated shows ever. <laughs> As I watch my friends die around me every day, I think, Dave, what you need is to throw a pencil through a fake window. That is comedy. February, 1982. Category, please. Let's have a big warm welcome for Double Down. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. All right, imagine the Double Mint Gum people are filming a new Double Your Pleasure commercial, but they can't seem to find the right twins to cast. If the Double Mint people decide to hire only sitcom characters that are played by two different actors, which of the following characters... That's sweet. <laughs> William Frawley was the only actor to play the crusty but lovable Fred Mertz. And I just said crusty butt, didn't I? Throw me a cat. Today's specialties include TV and New Year's resolutions. You get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. So, how you doing with your New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I thought so. Considering what began on January 2nd, 1971, which of these New Year's resolutions... On January 2nd, 1971, they implemented the ban on cigarette commercials. <laughs> and of course, for those people who couldn't handle the withdrawal, there was the nicotine commercial patch. All right, I need a category. Open wide and get ready for green rooms and seafood. One right answer and you got $6,000 coming at you. Forward March. Considering his announcer, which food would you most likely expect to be served backstage at the Merv Griffin Show? Gorton's Fish Fingers, Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips, Long John Silver's Fish Planks, or Mrs. Paul's Fish Sticks? Merv Griffin's longtime sidekick, Arthur Treacher, is the same guy on all the signs at the fish and chip places. I'm telling you. Maybe it's just me, but I find it terrifying that you can connect everything to Merv Griffin. Give me a category. The
uh, category. Cheater, cheater, raw egg eater. How does $4,000 grab you? Okay, free your mind. Based on the names of the American gladiators, which of these would not be a way to cheat on the show? Snick a snake, down snakes, short, spray mace and lace his face, kick Sonny where the sun don't sh I don't care what the other children say, you'll always be my favorite. You want to see what the smart money says? <laughs> There's no American gladiator named Snake. Now, if you watch the Egyptian version of the show, they got like a dozen gladiators named Snake. And one big guy named Asp. You know, it's a cultural thing. All right, pick a category. May I introduce, do you want to give or receive? Sit up straight, this one's going to be worth $6,000. All right, my friends, let's see if you know your game shows. Buzz in when you think you know what two shows go in the blanks. $10,000 pyramid, $20,000 pyramid, blank, blank, $100,000 pyramid. It's a $25,000 pyramid, $50,000 pyramid. The $25,000 Pyramid and the $50,000 Pyramid were the other two titles on the game show's Journey Through Inflation. <laughs> Unless you're watching the Egyptian version of the show, which they call the $25,000 Triangle. Something about pyramids being sacred or something. I don't know, it's that cultural thing again. Time to pick a category. You're about to... Oh, well, someone's been attacked before. Let's see how much you've learned. Here's your clue. Things that are possessed. You think you're gonna own this jack attack? Think again. People, let's get those commercials going. Raul, hon, we doing this again? Way to go, player. Not only did you make the highest scoreboard, you knocked...